Last week, Dominic Ducharme let go as head coach. Uh, he coached 83 regular season games. And of course, we remember him uh, helping the Montreal Canadiens to get to the Stanley Cup final last summer. How do you think the Dominic Ducharme era, as short as it was, will be remembered in our fair city? Do you think he'll be able to get another coaching job somewhere else? Well, for the rest of his life, he can say he's, he's the first coach to get the Canadians to the Stanley Cup Finals since Jacques Demers when they won it in 93. So that's an accomplishment he can sort of hang his hat on. <clears throat> Excuse me, will he get another job in the NHL? I think he might, but as an assistant. I don't see him being a head coach again in the NHL. Um, I just don't think Dan Robertson, <clears throat> excuse me, my buddy at TSN, the play-by-play guy, had a great line. I think all of our buddies. <laughs> yeah, he's great. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Anyway, he, he, he had a good line. He said, he says, Ducharme seemed to be coaching systems more than players. Like it was all about his system and he wouldn't adjust even though the players were frustrated doing it. They were frustrated last season. Remember, this team barely got into the playoffs and then things started to click and Carey Price stood on his head. But <clears throat> when I think about Ducharme, I'm going to be remembered of Jean Perron, who was the coach when they won the Cup in 86 and didn't last too long afterwards. And, you know, heard you know, I think Larry Robinson and Bob Ganey and Rick would know this better than anyone had had a lot to do with what went on in that locker room during their playoff run. And I think last season it was a similar situation with Shea Weber and Corey Perry and the veteran guys, Eric Stahl, were maybe, I don't want to say coaching that team, but had a large voice in that room, maybe even larger than the coach had. And, you know, Jeff Petrie expressed this frustration early this season with the system. It's like it wasn't changing. They they weren't happy playing it. They didn't want to play it. And Ducharme was stubborn and, and just kept sticking with it. And as Dan said, he was coaching the system rather than listening to his players and coaching his players. So, you know, he did get the Canadians to the Stanley Cup final. Nobody can take that away from him. I think he's a really smart hockey mind. I just don't think he has the leadership abilities or that presence in the room that you need as a head coach. So if he is a head coach again, I think he'd be going back to the Quebec Junior League. I don't know if he's going to want to do that, but I think I, I could see him ending up being an assistant coach again back in the NHL. You know, like Stu said, I think you got to give him full uh, credit. He did get the team to the uh, the finals, and you know, um, <laughs> you know, you touched on uh, how how some of the players take control, and I, I can go back to '86 when John Prano was coaching, and we had a meeting from some of our struggles on the ice and Sir Savard was prepared to make a coaching change in March. And uh, the group of us basically said, you know what, uh, let's just uh, go with what we've got. We'll, uh, we'll take care of it uh, at our end. And uh, obviously uh, it worked out, but listen, Dominic Ducharme, uh, you know, moving forward and opportunity wise, I'm not sure whether or not NHL coaching uh, job will be in the works for him versus Maybe an assistant uh, coach is, is better fitted for him. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's unfortunate he, uh, he got caught in a really bad situation through injuries and, and, you know, major stuff that was going on. But uh, that's the way the uh, life in that business goes. And, you know, I don't know whether or not he'll get another uh, crack at the NHL head coaching job uh, in the future. Yeah, just the circumstances of this season obviously weren't ideal, I think, for any coach. But if you go back to last year when they made it to the cup final, you don't point to the coach and say, this is the guy who motivated the players to get them there. You point at Carey Price, you point at Corey Perry, Shea Weber, mainly Carey Price, you know, especially that first round against Toronto. You know, if he didn't have that kind of performance, this team would have been out in the first round. So you know, it, it's kind of, they got really lucky last year and Dominic Ducharme got lucky being the coach of that team, got himself a three-year extension. And then this year we saw that it just wasn't working out. And there's some coaches that are really good at the junior level and they just can't make the transition into coaching pros. And maybe that's just the kind of coach that he is, that he can be an assistant coach or a head coach with junior players. But I, I can't see any other NHL team looking around if they're wanting to hire a new head coach and say, hey, let's give this a try, this guy a try, since that, you know, things didn't work out. And a lot of players voiced how they felt about this coach, too. So I, I can't see him having another head coaching job in the league. you got to remember, too, Luke Richardson was behind the bench as head coach for the final games of that Vegas series when they won, when, uh, when Ducharme had tested positive for, for COVID. I mean, <clears throat> Ducharme's a qualified coach. I mean, you don't coach – Team Canada at the World Juniors twice without 
knowing your your coaching stuff. But uh, again, I just think he's better as an assistant because I think he's one of those guys behind the bench who might spot things other teams are doing that the head coach doesn't have time because he's so busy doing other things. And I think he that's where his value would be. And I think that's what he was with Claude Julien. Just sort of, Claude, did you notice this? Did you notice that? Sort of between periods talking to him. Uh, I think he could handle that role again. Uh, but again, you, know, you have to have, a, as a head coach, you have to have players, you have to be able to sell what the systems or whatever you're, you're trying to get them to use. And I don't think he had that ability. I don't think he had that instant respect from the players. And you go back to the playoffs last year, it was game six against Toronto, I believe, when the Canes were outshot 13 to two in overtime. And they won because of Carey Price. If they lose that game, I doubt if Dominic Ducharme would have been back as head coach this season. I think that was, you know, they. How do you how do you get rid of a coach who just took you to the Stanley Cup final? You can't. And then they give him a three year contract worth five point one million. So, um, you know, good for Dominic Ducharme that he was able to get the team to the Stanley Cup final. He can, as I said, that'll always be on his resume. But I just don't think uh, I'd be very surprised if I saw him as a head coach again in the NHL, unless. The Quebec Nordique come back and they have to have a bilingual coach and he would be one of the candidates for that job. That's a very good point. Uh, the one thing I'll say about this, I think his ceiling now might just be as an assistant and this is just a hunch I have. I don't have any intel. If he really wanted to and he's still around, maybe Andre Tourigny in Arizona gives him a call and makes him an assistant there. Mm-hmm. That's just me with a hunch. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't happen. Maybe he likes making 1.7 million every year and sitting around and not necessarily doing anything. Hell, we'd all like that. <laughs> not not, 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 not Prong never coached in the NHL again after uh, winning, winning the Stanley Cup. So, you know, that's, that's the sort of the comparison that I see. Yeah, I think Knuckles hated Jean Perron. He did. He got traded right. because of Jean Perron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember Knuckles telling me that. He anyway. fired a puck at him in practice and hit him in the head. Yeah, he never. Jesus. Jean Perron never accepted the fact that Knuckles hit him in the head with a puck and uh, <laughs> said it was accidental. Jesus. Anyway, accidentally, uh, accidentally on purpose. Accidentally on purpose. We, we'll go with that. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube show. We're trying to, you know, rack up the followers and subscribers, whatever word you want to use, uh, visit HockeyInsideOut.com for a full episode. And of course, uh, subscribe to the Hockey Inside Out newsletter.